Hey folks, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue. I am in beautiful Allen, Texas, ready to rock and roll with our Beyond the Smoke, which I co-founded with Nick Kittle, a TED speaker. We have about 20 plus students here doing a sustainable invasion micro conference, and we've got all of the folks here lined up in Allen, Texas, and everyone is cooking and split into teams, and they'll be doing a mock barbecue contest to showcase teamwork project management, sales, and marketing, and everyone is going to be prepping tri-tip chicken. Also, we have a curveball, which is gonna be jalapeno poppers, and they have a little station here where they can get product, and everyone is busy preparing a presentation for the cook plan, a presentation for how they do the meat, and some beautiful, beautiful artwork going on right here. That is a gorgeous chicken getting the sauce from Michelle. Michelle's helping me do this Beyond the Smoke inaugural event in Allen, Texas. We're training 20 plus students from four cities in the art of barbecue, smoke, and fire using a mock barbecue contest as the format to teach team building. All right, gentlemen, what's cooking here? We're doing bacon as a presentation piece to go around the, the poppers. Oh, poppers. Wonderful, and what, what, what did you do with the poppers? We, we stuffed them with the sausages uh -huh. and uh, uh, dry rub for the dry rub, cheese. Dry rub and cream cheese. Cream cheese and you got some rub on it. Wait a minute, what's happening here? We're getting too hot. I've never used charcoal grill before. Okay, so it's the first time. First time. Got a little got we'll move things around. Got some easy bake ovens at the house. That was good. Grease. grease is making it. And we have some uh, some uh, interesting box presentations. You overcome the challenge. Wow, but pepper cow. You guys uh, took my word to the presentation. You got a purple cow. Chicken and purple cow. Okay, listen, extraordinary, ordinary barbecue. That's what it's all about, man. You're gonna love it. Wow, that looks really, really good. Looks delish. Yes. We also put a little bit of spice on the bacon. So we have two different presentations. And if you want to be omnivore or carnivore. Okay. 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 <laughs> poker face. He's eating with a poker oh, face. Poker you can gauge his impression. It's good. It's All right, these are my magic mics and popping poppers surprise. Uh, what you see here is going to want to work front to back. Uh, these are cream cheese stuffed jalapenos with wrapped in bacon. All right, welcome to Allen's All Fired Up. We've got here for you uh, jalapeno poppers with our fired up cream cheese. Okay. Judges, go ahead and sample. And we have two minutes before we move to the next entry. Team number four, are you ready for the judges? Woo! This is JNA's poppers. So we have the jalapenos cut. We have a full one that's capped. The consistency of it, to see it in there. I, even though it's the same flavor with it chopped up, um, there's something about when you bite into it, having the actual sausage in there was great. I never thought of putting the sausage in there. Good. I agree. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Two for two. I thought Plano did a great job. And the only thing I will say, if there is an honorable mention, the Fort Worth team did a fantastic okay. job on their presentation, on trying to be creative, but with the core task at hand, Plano okay. All right. brought the best. Okay. We have to go judge in two minutes. Yep. Go quickly. Yeah. You got pick. So I got to where I am by hiring good people <laughs> and letting them do their thing. So. I'm absolutely with Chief. Uh, Chief, yeah. Chief, okay. Plano. Plano. I, I, I will have to mention that Alan, when they had the separate uh, yeah. sausage bacon, that was a nice treat. That was really great. Okay, all right. And um, I would have gone with Plano, but when I bit into mine, I got one of those innovative coffee stirs. Uh -oh. I cracked, oh, no. That I thought, am I swallowing oh, okay. this? Okay. Did I tell you that? Okay. So I'm sorry, I can't go with Plano. <laughs> I would go with Fort Worth because I did like that progression. The dip. The eat, the after chaser with the donut, that is fantastic. They cool. were all about the experience. All right, so yep. we, we have three three judges, and I think we have found a winner. Cool. One of the things our team recognized is while it's important to have a good plan, we even said jokingly, plans are lives committed to paper.
everybody have a good time at the first ever Beyond the Smoke? Yeah. All right, all right. Everyone did great. Um, we, we had a great time. The interesting observation we had upstairs as we were talking afterward is literally everyone excelled in different areas. Every team kind of interacted among yourselves differently, uh, but still got some success out of this. So. So a round of applause to our friends at Allen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chicken. It's Plano. Round Whoa! Of applause. Just a good day Best try tip? Plano. Oh. Oh. Which means our overall winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Plano. Oh. Hey everybody, Nick Kittle here, co-founder of Beyond the Smoke, Harry Sue's partner, and we're excited to do something a little unusual today. Popcorn balloons, we got twine, string, we got streamers. What are we doing? I bet you'd love to know. The only way to find out is to sign up for a Beyond the Smoke event and come join us because we're going to keep it weird, we're going to keep it wild. It's about love, leadership, life, love, and barbecue. That's what we're about. We're in the middle of a popcorn challenge here. Everybody's getting a chance to build a flavor profile. Just go in here and look at that. Everybody is using seasonings to make a rub and impress everyone in the popcorn challenge here at our day two of Beyond the Smoke micro conference on how to team build with four cities here in Texas. Farthest airplane wins, but the only deal is that you have to have that one hand behind the back, so you can only use one hand to build that airplane. So you need your partner in order to be able to do this exercise. That's how it works. All right, here we go. Three, two. One, throw them! Oh, yeah! Oh. Come grab your plans, come grab your plans! <laughs> now you know somebody in a different community that can help you get done what you need to get done. And that's part of how we succeed is to form those relationships. Get! <laughs> You cannot move back. Your goal is to get everybody who's here to that side in the same order that you're in now. Okay? to the others that you've met here. Look, you got career opportunities in other communities now. You got recruitment opportunities in other communities now. You have formed a regional relationship which you can take advantage of. So if you formed a relationship with somebody who might be able to help you, reach out to them. That's me, that's Harry, that's any one of you in this room and hopefully you'd be willing to do that for each other.